Oh, hi there. Um, what am I doing standing underneath this giant wooden structure? I'm asking myself the same question, actually. Um, I'm halfway down a track called Barrel Run here in Woodhill Bike Park in Auckland. Now, we did the first half of this track quite some time ago um, with uh, Zach and Graham, and we said when we got to 3,000 subscribers, we would drop off this bad boy. The thing is, we're at 9,000 subscribers now, and I still haven't done it. And why? Well, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I keep thinking there's always an excuse not to do it. I blame the weather a lot, but it's sunny now, and so I guess it's time. Now, I've come up with a plan. I've gone and got myself a coach. He's an experienced, talented rider. He does a lot of coaching out here, so I'm going to meet him here soon. And um, fingers crossed, um, he can get me down this thing. All right, my coach has arrived, so things are getting real. Um, if you're a Woodhill local, you'll know who this guy is. But for everyone else, uh, this is uh, Ben Spence. Thank you very much for joining me. No problem. Now, Ben uh, is a very talented mountain biker and also a mountain bike uh, coach. Now, Ben, this is going to be your, probably your biggest challenge to date, uh, getting a semi-talented, overweight e-biker over what is a pretty gnarly set of features. Are you up for the job? Sure am. Okay. Now, Ben has his own YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok? No. No TikTok. Um, I will put the details in the description and on the screen, so if you want to check that out, in fact, Ben has done um, the Dream Track in Queenstown, truly inspiring, you've got to watch that if you don't know what the Dream Track is, um, so anyway, I'll probably put a link to that video at the very end of this one. Anyway, first up uh, is the Squirrel Catcher, and this, this is quite intimidating, it's a gap, it's narrow, it's a step up, what have we got to do Ben? Just got to come in fairly fast and a little bit of preload up that little wooden lip and then you should be sweet for this. Are you going to show me how to do it? Sure. Alright, let's start. A little bit of hop. Okay, first feature. Ben made it look easy. Yeah, oh, that's scary. All right, made it down the first few features, made it look easy, and why? Well, because I've already done it before. But the next jump, I've never done it, and it's always made me a little nervous. So uh, I've got a coach, so let's see what Ben's got to say. All right, Ben, this, this jump makes me nervous. Uh, how should I approach it? So first jump, it's quite similar to like the second to last one on how good, just maybe an actual gap. So if you just come in with trail speed, a little bit of preload, you can almost straight jump it straight to the landing and then you should be fine. For and after the landing there's another feature, um, do you think just roll straight into that? Yeah, it's only really small. Like, should we go and have a look at that? Yeah. Okay, so if you make the transition nicely, there's a little wooden step up here, um, but you wouldn't want to be going too slow would you Ben? No, nope, it's definitely not something you want to case. I've seen you jump that backwards. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's not a hard jump, especially if you can do it backwards. But if so, you reckon if you hit the transition on this jump and just yeah. roll straight through, You're more than enough speed. For more this. than enough speed, okay? Because when you look at it, yep, there's a bit of a gap there. All right, um, you're going to show us how to do that. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Hit that, jump. hit that a bit weird. <laughs> well, you cleared the jump. A little hop, a little preload. Nice. Probably doesn't look it on the video, but it's a decent old gap that dirt jump, eh? It's a good seven meters. Yeah. I walked it out just before. Seven meters, eh? Yeah. All right. Okay, you know the drill, the dry mouth, the heart racing. We're officially nervous now. Okay, we got Yeah! Woo -hoo! Happy with that! Yeah. 
All right, that deserves a fist pump, I reckon. Well done, man. Well, well. Well done to you. Oh, my heart won't stop racing. That's fast. Woo. All right, onwards. All right, so we've come up to the big one. This is what it's all about, uh, this drop. And it always makes me even a bit nervous walking out here. But as you see, it's pretty high and a pretty big drop. So, Ben, how, how am I going to approach this? So, this one, you just want to carry a decent amount of speed around this little wooden bit. And then this drop's quite similar to the big one on How Good. And then just a bit easier, not as bad as the landing. Nice All right. And smooth. You should be able to carry lots of speed into the. Well, I guess you're up first then. Okay, we've passed the 3,000 subscribers, but it's time to get it done. Ooh, cased it. Ooh, cased it. That would be a case. I'm going to go a little bit faster. I, it, it, the amount of turn in there was quite off-putting. You felt like you were still going around the corner as you went off the end. Because I guess, I take it if you, the next feature which we haven't shown the viewers yet, you don't want to case this. That one's actually super easy. Like the wall ride's super easy. Don't say that for the video, super hard, super hard. Yeah, I got off. It felt like I'm still going around the corner as I'm dropping. All right, small tire tap there. Feels weird, because as you go around the corner, it feels like you're jumping while you're still turning. It's a little off-putting, but we'll see if we can get it better. That's better, that's better. Oh, tempted just to, whee! That's next. All right, so then this, this is the feature that actually scares me the most. Although Ben says it's pretty easy. It's a wall ride. You can see, you cannot, you have to do it. If you go too low, you're going to hit those uh, posts and end up in hospital. And then you've got to jump over here onto the landing. So Ben, you say it's easy. How do I approach it? You pretty much just treat it like a berm because it basically is just a really big berm up to here. And then here's just a little shark fin, which I'm sure you've ridden before. So literally, as you go off, you just sort of straighten up and, yeah. and land in the air. All right, you're going to show me first? Yep. All right, Ben's not even doing the drop. He's just going to pedal in. All right, Ben, you made that look good. The question is, should I do the drop or should I just pedal in like you did? So with the drop, it's pretty easy just roll in no brakes but if you pedal in from the top that's on an e-bike should be pretty easy as well just lots of speed down that first bit and then hold your speed around that corner you said you it. actually pedaled on the thing yeah so i did pedal a little bit on the berm just to make sure but it's super easy because it's nice and stable and lots of i think i think i'm going to try the drop all right all right ben says it's easy it looks easy but uh yeah i'm still scared eh just keep don't break Woohoo! Bit wide. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, I was a bit scared at the end. Look at my tire mark, man. Whoa. I think. How did I end up so wide? I should have, um, did I, was I too high? I think the, the height was good. You might just need to kind of pop off the end a bit more. Yeah. Whoa. Because I, I must have, yeah, I landed real wide, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. My heart's not, anyway, we, okay, done, next. 
Can you believe it? We're on the last feature. And believe it or not, this feature was basically here 10 years ago. So I have kind of done it, although it's slightly modified now. But anyway, let's get Ben's take on it. <laughs> so, All right, Ben, what do we do here? These two features, they're kind of like the first one, how you have to kind of hop a little bit, like pop off them a bit, yep. just so you don't land down the middle. But if you've got enough speed coming around here, you should be fine for them. Should we have a quick look at the end of this? Okay, so the thing, and you said, Ben, this is actually the scariest feature for you. Yeah. Because of the height off the ground. Look at look how high. Ben's not a short guy, uh, and we're not even at the tallest bit. It goes up from there. So, yeah, as you can see, you probably couldn't see on the footage before, but way up there, you then got to do a gap jump, which is relatively wide, but still pretty darn scary. And so this bit's interesting because it's uphill, so you're not going to have a lot of trail speed, but then you've got a, a gap jump, a gap jump here. So how, how do we approach this one, Ben? A little bit of pedaling up here just to keep a bit more speed. And then off this, you do have to hop a little bit. Otherwise, it is very easy to case. As you can probably see, there's a lot of tie marks on the landing. All right. Okay. Guess what? You're first. <laughs> So what did that feel like? Look pretty easy? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just decent pedal up onto the top. Yeah. And then I just pumped down that second landing and then easily cleared this one. Yeah, all right, cool. Okay, final feature. Not one to be sneezed at. It's a long way in the air, so it's all a matter about just steady control, really. All right, we're coming. Too easy! Thanks, Ben. You have no you have no idea how long I've wanted to do that. That is absolutely awesome. We're very happy. All right, so we've done a full run, a barrel run. Well, it's not really a full run, it's all the components. So I guess we need to do and put it all together. So here we go, uh, one full run. Right, you ready? Yep. All right, one full run. <laughs> so far, so good. That's better. Yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! Happy with that. Super happy. Did you manage to stay with me? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Woohoo! Okay, so here's the full run from uh, Ben's perspective following me down. Now, Ben obviously charges for his coaching. Um, in this instance, being a cheapskate, I said to him, would he settle for a thousand subscribers to his channel? So if you guys, at the end of this video, um, you better check out his channel, subscribe, otherwise I'm gonna be in big trouble. Um, but he's a really talented rider and uh, makes some uh, really good videos. Hey guys, I'm absolutely excited at getting off, off this thing. Uh, it's been two years, it's been too long. I've been terrified of doing it. I've just needed the right motivation. In fact, it's been a really funny week. Um, I contacted Ben about doing this about a week ago. So the whole week I've known that this was the plan and every YouTube clip, Instagram clip involves someone crashing, breaking their arms. In fact, I was here last week, guy broke his arm on Aviator. And so everything was telling me not to do it. But the feeling of achieving it is unbelievable. Big thanks to Ben for helping me with this. If you do want some of his coaching, his coaching was amazing actually. He really broke it down for me so that I could understand and got me across this. So uh, if you have enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Thumbs up, like, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.
Now coaching is a two-way street. Um, Ben's helped me a lot with the big stuff, but there's things that I've noticed Ben's getting wrong with his riding. So I'm gonna give him some of my coaching tips. Okay, Ben, I want you to show me how you do a jump. Not like this. No, 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 you're getting it wrong, you're getting it wrong. We wanna hold on to the grips really tight and not let go. One more try. <laughs> All right, we better, we'll, go, we'll take it out and we'll better practice. Okay, Ben, hold on to those bars tight. All right, Ben, hold on to the bars, don't let go. Hold on as tight as you can. 